I'm meeting all different types of healers, different practitioners. But I'll stop at nothing to bring that knowledge home. Today I'm doing Cambo, uh, which is a frog medicine coming from Peru and Brazil. Hey Georgie. How are you? My name's Georgie and my medicine is Cambo. What are we in for? Frog medicine time. It's very clear, it's very magical. When you set your intention, you know, what you ask for, it's kind of almost like it's done. So the medicine comes in the form of a waxy secretion that's taken from the back of the frog. So how long have you been doing Cambo? I first did Cambo four and a half years ago. Yep. Um, and that was in conjunction with some ayahuasca ceremonies, yep. an intensive weekend, two ayahuasca ceremonies, two Cambo ceremonies. Um, it was massive. And Cambo is not psychedelic at all. It's a purgative. So you're literally cleaning out your body energetically, spiritually, physically on a cellular level. Things that aren't fully yours, you can just shift. You can clear whatever it is that's attached to you that isn't yours. You're talking about the energies of some people that might be around you, uh, even in business, and just clearing that energy, or, or if there's some entity that's just not, you know, I feel like this cord that's attached to me sometimes. I'm ready to let that go. Yeah. You can feel it doing that. You can feel it finding these places and shifting. First time Cambo, so a little bit nervous. Okay. This is going to be OK. I'm going to smudge you with some sage. And then we'll sit down, and I'm going to give you some hape, which is a shamanic snuff. It's quite strong. <coughs> Open up your head, align your chakras. It's going to prepare you to receive the Cambo medicine. And then we're going to call in the Cambo spirit to be present, and you'll set your intention. To give me clarity and give me insight on those entities, people, relationships, business that are not serving my highest good. Come and assist Lane with his healing, cleansing, and work your magic. It's to relieve a panema. This is what the traditional people would call it. It's, a panema is like a cloud of bad luck mm. that is kind of sitting on you, sitting over you. Things aren't going your way. Stuff keeps happening to you. It's not in a good space. So this is removing the panema, gets you back in the flow, back in the alignment of life. You would start to drink the water. You need to drink two litres of water before we start. It's actually the hard bit. That's a lot. Uh, this is actually kind of hard to chug all this water. I chugged a lot back in my college days, but when you're actually asked to go chug water, different story. There's no cheers. <clears throat> There's... As soon as I put the points on you, then you need to put the bucket in front of you because it can be very violent to purge. Each time you're purging as well, you can really like feel like that gratitude of what you're releasing. Connections with people that might be unhealthy, past relationships. All right. Do I have your permission to burn you? Yes. I'll apply the burns. It's the top layer of skin. It feels like a match is being put out on your skin. It's the secretion. It's dry and then I put a bit of water on the end. Very beautiful porcupine quill that I found in a magical place. Each little mound that I make is a point, and I will put this onto the burn. Within a few minutes, you'll feel your heartbeats, like really very, very strong in your neck and your head, and it starts to work, and you'll start to feel quite sick, which is a good thing. So I will start to sing. Make 
make sure that you're okay and if you need to get up to go to the toilet, which is a possibility because you can purge out the other end as well. <laughs> and after half an hour, normally you have purged enough, you can feel when you're fully clear and empty. And you feel so good, so grounded and so relaxed. What I'm witnessing now is, whether it's ayahuasca or cambo or San Pedro, it's becoming worldly. Whereas before, you had to go to an actual shaman in the jungle to go get this medicine. It's because humanity really needs it. Some tribes, we really, really want to share this because we know that people need it. So if you carry a lot of anger or toxins, it's a really good way to release if you carry emotional trauma in your body, you know, maybe a lot of women carry emotional trauma in their womb, or, you know, if you have a very closed heart because of something, this can release, it can release old trauma that's stuck in your body. What's coming up is just kind of these stored emotions that was, that was there with the purge. You know, I definitely feel like, as far as wasting energy on the itching or wasting energy on looking elsewhere, I could see where you're just like, no, I'm on a mission, this is where I'm going. And this medicine better helps align you to that mission by letting go of that which doesn't serve you. Get back to nature, back to the, the essence of connection, and this just kind of removes this calcification of this persona, I suppose, that people grow up with through schooling, through their profession. This is all of my stored emotions. <laughs> um, and there's a beautiful ayahuasca vine here in the garden. You can see it's giant. So he's gonna return the purge with gratitude and thanks and just whew. But I think this is so appropriate that to go down the ayahuasca. Right, ayahuasca awesome. started my journey. So I'd like to say that no frogs were harmed in the making of cambo. They're released after they've had the cambo taken off them to be cooled down another day to be collected again. Really remarkable things happen to you from doing this. The next day after cambo, the magic is just things unfold, like maybe massive amounts of abundance come your way or something that's been lost for a long time has found. Amazing coincidences and it's, it's kind of setting you back on track. Tribal people do it if they want to find a wife or a husband, so it's a kind of manifesto as well. So if there's something blocking you from finding that person, you know, that connection that you're really seeking, but maybe there's a part of you that doesn't want it or something in the flow is, is being blocked. I suffered. Be able to let that go and you know, come back into my heart. I feel more like just in a good loving place in my heart. Post ceremony, more clarity, more focus, and ironically, I let go of a business I no longer felt aligned with. And then someone very special entered into my life. So yeah, I'd say Campbell worked for me. If you have connection and beautiful friendships, it's like, well, you don't really need much else.